Okay, uh, yeah, along the lines we were talking about, there's a great deal of saying that you guys make too much money. Well, I don't believe that at all, because we work according to the weather and the weather conditions, and that's the only way we can work. Uh, maybe the other trades that work under cover, like carpenters, plumbers, steam fitters, they can work a full week, but the iron workers and local 40, we can't do it unless we're a pusher or something like that there, where we're on straight time. We only get paid for the hours that we put in. We'll come here 7.30 in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, and might not go to work at 8 o'clock because of uh, bad weather, snow, rain, or if it's too cold, we don't work. We're usually working above the floors, putting in the iron, so uh, we never get a chance to uh, reap the harvest like the other laborers do and whatnot, where they work under cover. What do you figure you get home with a week uh, if you're doing well? Well, if I'm doing well, I work uh, uh, a full 40-hour week. I'll take home maybe... Uh, two hundred and eighty four dollars but that's a full week and I like I say we don't work every day that doesn't happen often does it? not this time of the year now in the summertime coming uh, we will but in the winter time there's ice up there there's snow there's rain it's cold five degrees ten degrees when it's 20 degrees in the street and you're up 84 floors it's like it's 10 below you know so uh, and the wind the wind factor is very bad even right now on that side on the on the uh, wall over there. You, know, you can hardly work over there. What do you say then to the guys that... Uh, what do you say to the president or anybody else? That you well, I say that they're, they're, not, they're not going in depth. They're not really looking into the situation. They're looking at it as a whole, as a, a whole industry. Yeah. Ah. Okay, just pick up what, what, what you're talking about. What do you say to the man who says you're making too much money? As I said before, like uh, President Nixon hasn't, hasn't really looked into this in depth because he's taken a whole industry as a whole, which is not right. Because the way we work is much different than that. We don't work in the winter time hardly. I mean, one, two days a week we get. We're lucky we got a good union and we get good benefits from it. Well, we don't get money from it. We got a good medical plan. We got a good uh, life insurance plan, which you need on a job like this here. Yeah. The other craft unions all say pretty much the same thing, though. Well, it's true. It's true. Even if, even if it's cold for them, too, but at least they can work when it rains or when it snows because they're undercover. But there's no heat in the building. I mean, you build a fire and that's it. You know, you can't stand around a fire all day because they're not going to pay you for that. What do you think about it? If somebody said, all right, you figure out a way to cut down costs in building, what would you do? Well, I'd say anybody that can do my job is welcome to try it. That's all. That's all I can say. They think it's because you're getting eight something, eight dollars an hour and some change. That's all. That's all it's to it. That's not what it's, the story is. You got to know your job and do your job. And if you don't know it, nobody's going to pay you for it. And it's dangerous. I'd say so. Yes, it's dangerous. It's uh, it's a matter of uh, acclimating yourself to the job. This type of work that we do. Hold on. What about you? Uh, wait a minute. What, what, let me get your name. Uh, Joseph Wright. Joseph Wright. Yes. W I am working local forty. W R I G H T. That's correct. Great, thank you. Wait, sorry, I don't talk English. You don't speak English. I don't. Friend. Okay, let me see. Excuse me. We're talking about the argument that construction costs are too high, labor costs are too high. In effect, that the, the trade unions are making too much money. You're making too much money. What do you say? I don't think so. I ain't making enough money. I don't think I'm making enough. Uh, the labor union is not too high. Okay. You're making over eight dollars an hour. Yeah, but that's not too enough. Yeah, I, you know, is it because you don't work steady or what? Yeah, well, we don't work steady. Um, but bad weather, you don't work every day. Okay. And if it's enough money, and we work every day, then it's you know it's all right, but not you know. What would they? What would you do if they told you you have to take less? Well, I couldn't do anything about it. I'd have to go along with what they say. I'm not in authority to say whether I could take less or not. What do you think about uh, Mr. Nixon's proposal and they're going to hold down wages 6%? Oh, well, I haven't considered that yet. 
I just never thinking about it. You know. Do you think it costs too much to build buildings? What's your feeling about it? No, it didn't cost too much to build buildings. But you don't feel that you make enough? No, I really don't feel that way. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, we got to make that over. Yeah. Is it Bob Curran? Curran. Bob Curran, right. Uh, you may have heard us talking there. We're talking about the impact of labor costs on construction. Mr. Nixon's trying to hold down the prices. He says, in effect, I guess they're saying uh, trade unions make too much. No, they're not making too much. You may find some of the bosses are making a 40-hour a week. Fellas like the guys that got working at the gang here, they lose time. Winter now, they've gained maybe two and a half days a week for that hazardous job. If they ask now how many, how many of those senators will break a leg or lose a finger and still only make six months a year on their work. Do you think there's any way to cut down on the cost of labor and construction today? Not till they stop the rising costs of your products that come out. This isn't just labor's fault. And if a man works 40 hours a week, he's got to make enough to make the price of food. To sum up, a number of construction bosses say wages get all the headlines, but what's worse is all the unneeded men they're forced to hire because of union restrictions. On the other hand, the hard hats themselves say they don't work steady, they don't take home that much, and have been singled out unfairly. Obviously, both sides have considerable political strength, and it's probably fair to say that when it finally gets down to truly fighting inflation, politics will have as much to do as that battle as hard-headed economics. Gregory Jackson, ABC News, New York. We'll have to use the take before, right?